To form a contract, one party must make an offer, the other party must accept the offer, and each party must give the other valuable consideration. In addition, neither past consideration, that is value for something already provided, nor moral obligations based on gratitude are sufficient to constitute the consideration needed to support an enforceable contract. But what if a person agrees to pay for services already rendered that has benefited that person? May such a promise constitute the consideration needed for an enforceable contract? The New York Supreme Court for Kings County considered this question in the 1899 case Drake v. Bell. In the late 1890s, Josephine Drake hired a contractor to repair her house for $210. However, the contractor mistakenly repaired the vacant house next door that was owned by Edward Bell. In addition, the work the contractor did couldn't be removed and included plastering and painting. As a result, the work the contractor performed improved the value of Bell's house significantly. The contractor then billed Bell $210 for his work. After seeing the work, Bell disclaimed responsibility. Nevertheless, after talking to the contractor, Bell promised to pay him $194, which was what the work was worth. Following the promise, the contractor filed a mechanics lien, that is, a security interest in real or personal property claimed by someone who improved or maintained the property, against the house and Drake as owner. After filing the lien, the contractor assigned his claim against the house and Bell to Drake. Importantly, this assignment of a claim meant that the contractor transferred his rights to sue Bell for the money that was owed to Drake. Drake then brought an action against Bell to foreclose on the lien in New York Supreme Court, Kings County. In the action, Drake sought to recover the money that Bell promised to pay the contractor for the work on Bell's home. 